Python Anywhere. PythonAnywhere.com is a portal which helps you to host your web applications. In Python Anywhere, you can host your web application created through Flask, Python, Django, or any other web frameworks of Python. Python Anywhere helps you to host your website free. To start with, you can create your beginner account in PythonAnywhere.com. In beginner account, you can create only one web application but it supports MySQL as well as PostgreSQL database. Now, let us look into the dashboard of pythonanywhere.com. Here you can see the dashboard of pythonanywhere.com, which provides you the consoles, the files, the Jupyter Notebook, as well as the web app. In beginner account, you don't have access to Jupyter Notebook. All the consoles of Python as well as Bash will be seen here. The files which you create will be shown here. The web app, which is only single web app in the beginner account, can be accessed through this section. Now, let us start by creating our first web application based on Flask web framework of Python. Click on the web tab. Now, click on the start button. Here you can see the domain name which is provided by pythonanywhere.com. As you can see, the domain name is dhra.pythonanywhere.com. In the beginner account, you cannot create your own domain name. So always in the beginner account, the domain name will be your username. Dot python anywhere.com. So suppose your username is XYZ, your domain name will be xyz.pythonanywhere.com. Now click on the next button. Here you can see the different web frameworks which are provided by pythonanywhere.com. So let us start by choosing the Flask based web framework. Now, let us select the Python version. These are the Python version which are currently supported by pythonanywhere.com. Let us go with the Python 3.6 version. So you can see here, this is the path where your first Flask project will be created. To start with, we don't need to change this path. Just click on the next button and wait for some time for your first web application to be built up and loaded. So here you can see your first web app is created. To see the basic Hello World web application of Flask, click on this link, which is nothing but your website link. So here you can see your first web app is created where a simple word Hello Flask is displayed. Now let us look inside the code of this web application. Click on the back button. Here, scroll down, you can see here, it is telling you, you can go to the directory where your code is present. Here you can see your file, the main app of the Flask based web application is present, click on it. Now. Let us look into the code of our Flask based web app. Here you can see we have from the module Flask, we are importing the class Flask. There is nothing but our module. Now, after that, in the next line, you can see we are creating the object. The name of the object is app. We are creating the object of the class Flask where name is passed as an attribute to the constructor of the class Flask. After that, we are creating the decorator, which is nothing but your base URL.
So your username that is dhiraj8.pythonanywhere.com is pointing to this base path. After that, you can see we have created a simple view function which is named as hello world. Now, let us modify our code and try to see our updated output in the web browser. So what we are doing now is just replacing this string with a new string. So right now we have typed hello PC. Now what we need to do is save our code. Now let us see our website. For that click on the web link which is present here. So again you are back to the web portal. Click on your URL. As you can see, we are not able to see the updated output. The thing is, you need to reload your web application whenever you do changes in your code. So what you have to do is, there is a reload button here. So click on the reload button. Now once your web application is reloaded, again click or type your URL. Here you can see the updated code which is showing hello PC. So this is the way you can create your first simple web application through Flask in pythonanywhere.com. So we saw how to create a simple web application through Flask in pythonanywhere.com which is free, completely free. Now, in the further lectures, we will try to create a Flask-based web application which will be connected with the database. Thank you.